FT Wiffle's top 10 plays and not top 10 plays of April. Number 10, the first Dizzy Bat race of the year, Brian Argenzio and Adam Coveney over a close call at first base. And Brian Argenzio gets off to a pretty big lead from the beginning, and he absolutely dominates Adam. What a performance by him in the first Dizzy Bat race of the year. That's number 10 play. Number 9, we have... Steven Gethard on the mound, TJ Renner at the plate, and he rips one to third base. Joe Fontana makes a great play, steps on third for the double play. The number eight play of April, Dan Colapinto on the mound. Kelvin Jan hits a ground ball off of Colapinto. He feels it and dives and gets Kelvin Jan running to first base. That's max effort on the mound by Colapinto. <laughs> number seven play. Dan Kropa on the mound, one out away from a perfect game, and he gets Vince Danziola to pop it up. Steven Gether going over, but he cannot make the play. He trips over the stump in the ground, one of the most embarrassing moments of his life. It was not that funny, Dan. All right, number six, Brian Argenzio. Who would have thought he would have thrown a no-hitter? And on top of that, a five-inning no-hitter. He had a huge day on the mound. Unlike his other performances this year, he also had the game-winning RBI in extra innings. Number five, Bradley Pole with the bases loaded. Kelvin Jan deals the pitch to him. This is extra innings, and Bradley Pole has a grand slam to left field, clearing the bases and giving the American League the win in five. He is a happy man. Number four, Stephen Gethard on the mound. He's struggling. There's bases loaded. He gets TJ Ranieri to pop it up. Should be the end of the inning, but Jimmy Decker cannot make the play. It hits off of his hands and goes over the wall for a grand slam. Any other any other angle that it hit his hands would have been so much better. And TJ Ranieri is loving it. And Jimmy cannot understand what happened on that play out in center field. Uh, number three, Dan Kropa. One pitch away from a perfect game, and he gets Vince Danziola looking. The first perfect game of the year. Huge celebration out on the mound, and Dan didn't even know it until he got the out. Great performance by him. The whole month of April was great for Dan Kropa. And the number two play of the month. Vince Danziola on the mound. Bradley Pole hits a looper to right field. Jonathan Zucker makes a huge play. He was diving, and Vince Danziola loves that play on the mound. Let's get another look at this one in slow motion. Full extension, laying out to make the play. Great effort by Jonathan Zucker. And the number one play of April is Dan Kropa's performance on April 19th. He hit seven home runs, went nine for 11. Nine for 11. And he also had a huge day on the mound.